Hi everyone, Tim Dexter from uh, BI Publisher of Blog. Um, I really want to talk about local data sources, so in 11G with BI Publisher. So typically with you know a corporate reporting scenario where you're reporting through the organization, we very much advocate centralized um, data sourcing. So with BIE or with Publisher, you try and have a single source of truth. But you're going to have folks who've got local data and they want to sort of merge that data in with the corporate data and have a local report as it were. But that's pretty tough with a with a BIE data model actually pulling that in that just you know, you're going to person in the department isn't going to, be able to do that. You're going to have to get IT involved to actually bring that data in, model it and maintain it going forward. With 11G BI Publisher you actually have the ability to now do exactly that. So I can write a query using my uh, corporate data repository, but I can also supplement that data with an Excel spreadsheet, with an XML file, um, whatever it might be. So what I thought I'd do today is just walk through how that demo can actually be put together. So here's my report that's running inside a Publisher 11G and of the data points in here these three across the middle the credit rating income range and credit limit are not actually being pulled from the central data they're actually localized in an excel spreadsheet which i can show you here so i have a foreign key reference customer id that's how i'm going to link my spreadsheet into my main query so of course we've got to have something to link them together and then here's my data so credit rating, income range, credit limits. So this is, uh, assume this be my, my local data that's coming in from Excel and I want to be able to merge that in. So step one, I need to mount this file um, on the server. So you know, that, that's still a bit of a hump to get over. That's something the guys are looking at. But um, it could equally be a shared drive. So if the server is sharing that drive with you on your desktop, you can drop that you can make changes to that excel file and see it see the changes reflected in your report so if we go out to <coughs> my bie instance in this case and go to uh, administration and then manage bi publisher and then manage my file data source i've already set up um, a data source name so that's this e customer file and out on the server that's actually running um, this uh, instance of BIEE, I have a directory in there where I'm actually dropping these files. In this case, I'm actually using um, uh, FTP to actually move the file up and down, but uh, it could equally be a shared drive. <coughs> I have yet to work out how to do a shared drive with, on my VMware, but uh, you get the idea. So FTP or, uh, or an actual shared drive with that server. So once I've got this piece set up, I can then go into the report. I've already built the report, so I'm going into the catalog, demos, and here, as many of you know, in 11G, we've actually split apart the data model now from the report, so another sort of level of separation, which is very good in terms of the abilities to now create data models that really can truly be shared across multiple reports and across even more layout templates. So um, the other fantastic new uh, tool within 11G is the data model builder. So this is a fantastic piece, a huge step forward based uh, compared to 11G or uh, EBS or any of the other flavors in building your uh, data model. So here on the left, all I've got is a straightforward query. So if I go into the uh, properties, I'm actually running this against the uh, BI server. So I've used the query builder pulled in what I need and I've got person ID. I need that as a foreign key, might not be needed in my report, but uh, I need that as a foreign key reference. And then over on the other side, here I've brought in my Excel spreadsheet. Now, the, the Excel support I think is very cool. So what I have to basically do is pick my data source. So uh, I had a data source set up Excel data. And then what I can do is hit the uh, uh, magnifying glass to find out what spreadsheets are actually available and once that's loaded up I can then pick the sheet I want and then with Excel 2003 and up I think it is you can actually define tables within those sheets 
and publishers pass it will actually go in and you can have so you can have multiple tables per sheet and actually start joining those together very very cool plus the ability to add parameters on top of that I'm not going to touch that today I'm really just trying to get at the uh, fact that we can merge these data sets so I've got my query on the left my spreadsheet on the right I've got a uh, foreign key references I have person ID on my query I've got customer ID in my spreadsheet and all I do is create a join between the two now I'll, I'll try and record some other things around building uh, structures in here but uh, suffice to say it's pretty straightforward to actually put that join between those two data sets and then I can get into the structure so again I'm not going to dwell on um, time in here but uh, the other thing we can now do in here we have a sort of layer of a metadata separation layer in here now with uh, with publisher such that I can now have a business view of the columns in my data so it kind of opens things up again even more to your more end users being able to build layout templates without having to look at you know person underscore ID and be put off by the fact that that looks a bit uncomfortable they can actually see customer ID and these can be translated as well so so I've gone through the process of joining the two data sources building structure renaming uh, column names um, to make life a lot easier in my tools so once I have this I just come back to my diagram um, 11g I can also generate some sample XML so I can now run it so here's my query g1 now g2 is actually coming from the Excel spreadsheet and it's actually right now nested if I collapse it you'll see g2 is actually nested inside g1 that's not a big issue for uh, publishers tools if you wanted to actually bring um, these these credit rating income range credit limit up to the G1 level that's pretty straightforward so if I return what you can actually do is grab credit limit so I'm left clicking dragging and dropping onto G1 and then this is normally used for aggregation but if we just we can trick the thing into doing what we want it to do if I just click first so it'll only ever find that first value because there's only one value per uh, G1 level if I then quickly save this and show you the XML again you can see that CS3 which is actually the credit limit and we can rename that of course is now being pulled up to the G1 level however tools they don't care about that so let me return now the next piece is to build the layout so if I come back to my catalog expand my demos edit my report all I've really done in here is build out an online layout editor template which again is a subject of another session that I'll hopefully record but you can now see on the left hand side rather than seeing element names we're now seeing those friendly names that I actually typed in CS3 is still there because that's the one we just pulled up but all I need do you know drag and drop interface so although credit rating income range and credit limit are actually from this customer attributes level the tool is clever enough to allow us to, to list out the customers but also pull these from the next level down I haven't had to do anything special in here so if I now return to the report view the report of course with the uh, online templates we get this interactive viewer which gives us some interaction with our um, reports but you can now see credit rating income range and credit limit coming from that Excel spreadsheet and being merged with the data that's coming from my centralized data source ie in this case my bi server so that's nuts and bolts of how we actually put together this ability to, to access local data thanks very much